smell that sea breeze, take in that saltwater air. We're here right by the ocean in Venice, California at Dunkin' Donuts. The donut shop is classic Americana and Dunkin' Donuts is the corporate version of that. The donut shop is like the unofficial safe zone for civilians and police to interact with each other. Once you're inside of the donut shop, there's no brutality. Everybody's happy and we can all communicate without any fear of getting killed. Venice, California is one of those hipster, gentrified type of towns where corporations try to act like they're not evil. They try to act like they're all artsy. Take for example this painting. Dunkin Donuts wants you to think they're all about cute kids and dogs and flowers, but what they don't tell you is that styrofoam cup is causing holes in the ozone layer, the straw she's drinking out of is causing cancer, and I'm not a veterinarian, but I know pretty damn sure that dogs are not supposed to eat donuts. Hey Sparky, want another donut? Jesus Christ, woman, I'm diabetic. My name is Wax, I eat at regular places, and this is Chain Reaction. Sometimes I like to eat eggs at night, you know what I mean? Breakfast for dinner. And what I like about eating donuts in the morning, it's like eating dessert for breakfast. We can't shoot in here, man. They're blasting Backstreet Boys. <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts coffee has that classic donut shop coffee taste. I love it. I will say that there's a lot of sugar in this coffee. Dunkin' Donuts asks you if you want cream and sugar in your coffee. I said yes. Another rookie mistake here on Chain Reaction. If you're gonna get coffee at Dunkin' Donuts, put the sugar in yourself. Not only is this coffee as American as apple pie, it has the same amount of sugar in it as an apple pie. Don't pour this in your gas tank. This coffee tastes like hot coffee flavored Kool-Aid. This looks like torture to me to eat a dozen donuts. This is a classic chocolate glazed donut. In Guantanamo Bay, they should feed everybody there this donut. If they don't do what I just did, if they don't walk around in a circle with fucking joy in their minds and hearts, they certainly are a terrorist, sir. Speaking of fat people being creative, this is a s'mores donut. It's got marshmallow on the inside, chocolate on top, and graham crackers. That really does taste like a s'mores. I feel like Dunkin' Donuts is gonna be like the Jelly Belly jelly beans of the donut world. You come in here in a few years, they'll have every flavor you can imagine in donut form. Starting with the s'mores, and they did a damn good job. This is a, uh, fucking, what are these called? <laughs> this is one of these. I wouldn't get this thing. This tastes like egg drop soup if instead of salt it had sugar. Ugh. I'm not feeling this, man. Ah, the jelly donut. The working stiff man of America has been eating these things since the 50s. When a man is 47 years old, he has two or three kids, a wife who nags him, a job he hates where he has to sit behind that desk all day. There's only one thing, one time in the day when he can sit back and relax and be himself, and that's when he's eating this jelly donut. Speaking of as American as apple pie, this is the apple and cinnamon donut. Remember that Dave Chappelle thing where he talked about the difference between juice and drink? This is much more like apple drink than apple juice. It's strange to me that one of the most iconic representations of American masculinity, Homer Simpson, eats this product that's so pink. I think I just realized that I've never had one of these before. This actually tastes like bubble gum. Like the classic bubble gum flavor. Do you enjoy maple but not syrup? This is the maple flavored donut at Dunkin' Donuts. Dog. Dog. If you come to this place, this is what you should get. This is delicious. Dunkin' Donuts is a classic name in America, but the best thing that I've eaten today is really of Canadian origin. I just imagine them feeding you these things at the Canadian border as soon as you cross by mounted by Mounties on horses, just handing out maple donuts. Here you go, here you go. What's this all about? This is cookies and cream. Much like everything else at Dunkin' Donuts, this cookies and cream donut tastes like if you had a spoon of sugar and just ate it. When life gave Dunkin' Donuts lemons, they made a fucking cup. Look how fluorescent that is. This lemon filling is actually made of the same shit they put in glow sticks. You know when you get really sick and your phlegm becomes all neon looking? I hate to say it, but it looks exactly like that. All right, man. <laughs> I had to get just a regular glaze. 
You ever had Krispy Kreme? It tastes like a Krispy Kreme donut, but not as good. Just when you thought I was done eating, this is bacon, egg, and cheese on a bagel. This is the bacon and cheese. That's the egg. The eggs here at Dunkin' Donuts are like a perfect circle. So perfect, in fact, that if you had a tape measure and knew the right geometric formula, you could use this to calculate pi to the tenth decimal place. I'm gonna be real honest with you, man. Normally, I love bacon, egg, and cheese sandwiches, but right now there's so much sugar and cake in my stomach that I can't review that sandwich. Eating has become torture. I actually feel like Homer Simpson when he was in hell and they're feeding him donuts two at a time. Except unlike him, my stomach is not eternally bottomless. I have a limit, and my limit has been reached. Pretend this bag was a towel. In conclusion, my body feels like it's full of sugar, cake mix, and buttery fat. You should never eat as many donuts as I just ate. That said, if you have just one donut and a coffee with a reasonable amount of sugar, this is a great place to have breakfast before work. I give Dunkin' Donuts an 8 out of 10. I'm going to go home and just lay on my couch until I pass out.